Welcome. My name is Abelardo Pardo, and I'm an associate professor of the School of Electrical and Information Engineering, and I'm going to be coordinating the unit of study, LX1601. The purpose of this video is to offer you a very quick overview of the type of resources and the overall learning environment that we're going to be offering you this semester so that you have a very successful learning experience. The main idea to know about this course is that all its material is practically online. So the first thing you have to remember is our shortcut to access all the material, bit.ly elect1601. If you type that URL, the first time you'll be asked for some authentication, and after that, you will be accessing the page that you're looking in front of you. This page is organized so that it is easy for you to access the relevant content for each week. So let's say, for example, we are in week three. You can access the content on the activities for week three either through this table or you can also use this index that you have on the left side of the screen. This uh, left side of the screen is divided into sub areas. This one are special links for you to help you study some tools. These three links over here are some special documents that we're going to discuss in a little bit. These links over here are exactly the same links that you find in this table. So this is the same as this one. And this link you see here at the bottom, this is very important. This would be the equivalent of the course textbook. Now, it is easy for you to navigate all that, but it's all, I also recommend you that you take a little bit of time and become familiar with this structure. All right, so let's review a little bit all the elements here. Let's suppose we are in week three and we want to check the activities here. You click in week three and every week you're going to have pretty much a template with the same structure. You're going to have one area over here that is going to remind you certain things that you have to do, specifically some things that are related to assessment. Then right underneath, a summary of the concepts that you are supposed to know by the end of the week. So this is worth taking a look at it before the start of the week, but also towards the end to see if these concepts that you see here make sense or are more or less consistent with what you have done in, in the other activities. And then what you have here are three links, one for each of the se sessions that we're going to have every week. So let's take, for example, a look at the lecture. If you click in the lecture, what we see here is always the same structure. The lecture is a structure such that you will have a set of activities that you have to do, like it says here, before the session. Now, these are very important. We are going to assume that you are participating and reviewing these activities before you come to the session. Uh, what we mean by that is the following. Let's take a look at one of them and see its structure. So suppose we are going to look at 3.9.8, this activity, which is about memory and direction. Now, most of these activities are similar. Some of them, they have a, an initial video for you to start looking at certain concepts. Let's say, for example, here, uh, this video is going to start talking about the memory and direction and it's going to so, show you In some developments. Video, really. But then immediately afterwards, and this is probably uh, the most interesting thing, is that you will have access to a set of questions for you to practice. Like, for example, these ones over here. These are easy multiple choice questions, but our idea is for you to use them to then see if the concepts that you cover in the video are clear or not. And these questions have no effect on your marks. So you can try them as many times as you want just to practice over and over again. If you go to the bottom of the activity, towards the end, we offer you also the possibility of either go and review certain material that is relevant to this video, just in case you want to review things that are a bit more uh, in depth of the concepts that we discuss in the video. And we also ask you to evaluate or to rate this activity. And you have here a two dimensional grid. As you see in the horizontal axis, we're asking you if this activity was easy or challenging. And in the vertical axis, we're asking you if this activity increase or decrease your confidence. What we ask you to do is to uh, get this rating and click in the appropriate location. You can change it if you want. And the idea, this is a tool to support you in the study, is that once you have rated this activity, you can click in this link over here that says um, Study Kit. And if we go to the Study Kit, which opens in this window over here, you will see that the activities that you mark in each of the four categories will be grouped into four different tabs here. 
So this is basically our way to offer you a tool that helps you organize the activities. You're going to have a lot of activities all throughout the semester, but this study kit will help you keep them organized. All right, let's go back to the activity and let's go back to the activities in the lecture. So if we go back here, we click on the lecture. So we said that we have this set of activities for you to do before the lecture. One very important element of pretty much every week is this link over here that asks you to answer certain problems in a sequence. And the score of these problems is going to be added to your course marks. This is very important. This is a summative assessment. You have to answer though, you have to answer them though before you come to the lecture. Let's take a look at what kind of questions do we see there. If we open this link, these are the type of questions. There are still multiple choice questions, but they require you to elaborate a little bit, a little bit more the concepts that you review in the videos. And you can see if they are correct or incorrect, and you can repeat those that are incorrect as many times as you want. So in principle, if you answer all of them correctly before the lecture, then you will have some extra score added to your course marks. Okay, so we looked at the lecture. Um, if we go back to the structure of the tutorial, it's very similar. As you can see here, you also have some activities that you have to prepare and some activities that are going to be occurring while you are uh, in the session. Same, same structure that we saw for the lecture over here. Let's go farther down. We have the same structure here. Um, one more thing with respect to the lecture. We are going to be using, during that session, we are going to be using a PDF file, which we call the worksheet, the lecture worksheet. Now, this PDF file, you can see it here, usually always has two pages. And this is just some uh, schemes and some uh, drawings that are ready for you to do some exercises during the lecture. So what we ask you is that before you come to the lecture, you make a copy of this worksheet and bring it with you so that you can work with it, answer some exercises there, and then keep it as your material for the study. All right, so once we have seen um, everything related to the lecture, the worksheet, the exercises, the uh, activities before the session, activities after the session, let's now take a look at other resources that we are going to offer you to work in the course. So if we go back to our homepage, we're going to see again the schedule for the whole week. And let's look now at the uh, elements you have here. These are links. Some of them are basically taking you directly to the learning management system or the discussion forum, which is a fundamental part of the overall course. We will ask you, we will keep asking you to participate and to discuss and post questions on that discussion forum. Um, the study kit, as we saw before, this is the link that takes you to that classification of activities that we showed you before. Okay, all these four buckets here, which will collect the ones that you uh, label. Again, this has no effect on your marks. This is just to help you organize the activities. And if we go back here, we have another link that is very interesting that is called participation. Now, if we open that link, this is our way to offer you real time information about your activity or your engagement in the class. It's going to be working week by week. You will always have the number of week here at the top. After we start a new week, these indicators here will go back to zero. And the screen is going to be divided always into two areas. The first area over here, the first area at the top, this one, will always have four measures of your activity with the videos, your activity with the questions next to the videos, your activities with the questions in the notes, and then we're going to bring here the score of that problem sequence that you have to submit uh, before the lecture. In the bottom part of the screen here, what we're going to offer you are certain suggestions or certain next steps we would like you to cover in order to increase your learning strategy. And the idea is that if you have one of these and you click on that link, that link will take you, let's open it in another window, will take you directly to the activity that is pending. And as soon as you do this activity, then this list will be reduced and this uh, link over here will disappear. Um, again, the information in this is for, for you basically to to know what you need to do, to have a little bit of guidance about what are the next steps. And it is typically updated every 15 minutes. And remember, like we said before, let me go back. You can access this through this link that says participation here. All right, so we 
looked at the links that are pointing to each of the weeks. We looked at the links in this top area. Uh, let's take a quick look at these three links over here. These three links are basically administrative documents. And the idea is to have a place where you can check about how the course is organized in terms of assessment, the sessions, who is doing what, um, how many assessments you have, if they are individual or in group, what are the marks in each assessment. And as you can see here, we have certain marks. These ones are the ones for the prepared lecture activities and multiple choice problem sequence. And it's one mark per week, weeks two to five, seven to 12, for a total of 10 marks. You have all the information here for you to check. Um, and we also um, include here some additional information about how to prepare the lectures, um, how to prepare the tutorials, the lab report, etc. So this is administrative information. If we go back to the top and we go to the next sequence here, sorry, to the next document, this is a description mostly of what I'm saying here. The resources, how do we organize them, the structure of the session, basically what we have seen here in this, in this uh, video. You have here some capturing of the discussion forum and how to use it, some recommendations, the dashboard is here, and the grid as we saw it uh, just a few seconds ago. And finally, the other document we have here is these strategies for sophisticated learners. And this is basically our attempt to give you some specific feedback and specific suggestions about how to handle your week, um, what would be the ideal structure for your week, what would be some suggestions on how to prepare and participate in the lectures, um, several things you have in here. Um, we also suggest 10 top, top 10 study techniques for you to think about. Um, some ideas about how to manage your time that might be interesting, especially um, in a course like this one, how to create an optimal working session. Anyway, some things for you to consider and to ponder as you go through the semester. And finally, if we go all the way up here and click on the link that says here, Computer Systems MDA VR Architecture, this is would be the equivalent of the textbook of the unit of study. And you have this structure divided into could be chapters. And you can select, for example, chapter number three, the memory in a computer system. These are the sections. And if you click on the first one, as you can see, we have here a fairly uh, deep document. You see the scroll has a lot of uh, material here, a lot of sections, a lot of figures for you to go through. And also in the middle of it, you also have these uh, questions for you to practice and are available all throughout the semester. You'll see the videos as well, and all the material and all the resources required for the unit of study. And that concludes this brief tour. I hope with this video, we help you understand and, and give you the opportunity to go through this material. And I'm looking forward to learning together about how computer systems work.